G'day and welcome back to another video and I'm going to go back to the 3883 uh, GFA or Superior Quartz movement which we looked at previously. So I've now got this guy running and it runs quite well and uh, it took me a little while to figure out the trimming system and information on these is pretty few and far between so I thought I'd put a video out just to Get the information on there on how they're actually trimmed and how to adjust them. So we mentioned in the last video that uh, right here is where the trimming system is. So it makes up several parts. So well, it's made up of several parts. So you've got their little knoblets there which are the adjustment and under this plate here is a variable capacitor or as they call it in the instructions condenser. Now, the instructions on this uh, are not the best. Um, even when you look at the technical manual, it's uh, a little bit ambiguous as to exactly how you adjust it and so on. And it really doesn't... It does have the information there, but it's not really presented in a way that makes uh, what well, is easy to understand or you could, you could look at very quickly and understand it. So I'm just going to cover how this is actually done um, because it had me miffed for a little while. Now, just on the end there is another adjuster as well. Now, that one there is for the thermo compensation. So, we don't need to touch that, and that's another little capacitor just on the end there. So, just looking at the trimmer system here, you'll see we've got, in total, we've got nine tabs across there. Now, the instructions say that you only need to bother with the first seven, and the last two are for additional temperature adjustments. So, we're only going to be looking at the first seven here. So the trick to doing these is that you've got to move these tabs in a way that you get the capacitance value that you're after and that's how you trim the movement and that's how you can achieve very fine trimming. So you can adjust each one down to, um, it doesn't actually say exactly what the ohm values are, um, it just gives you know uh, 1, 2, 3, 5, 10, 20. So you would assume it's 20 ohms or 20 micro ohms or something, it doesn't really give a value of it. I could probably measure it but I don't really want to pull it all apart again to figure it out. But anyway, um, I'm just going to bring up the, the adjustment chart here and I'll just pour, um, well you won't hear me talk for a sec while this comes up. So anyway, so that's the value chart there. So it gives a value for each one of those pins. Now, you'll see there I've got pins 2, 4, 5 and 6 populated, which gives us a value of 37, and you would assume that's ohms. So if you want to trim the movement to run faster, you reduce that value. So you move the pins around so the value is lower. So for example, if I changed uh, pin 2 to pin 1, uh, which gives a value of 1, then you're running at 36 rather than 37, presumably ohms, and that will make the movement run faster. If you want to slow it, I could uh, change them around to make the uh, capacitance higher, uh, value higher, and that will slow the movement down. But in a nutshell, that's how it works. So anyway, um, I just thought I'd make this video because it easily took me 45 minutes to figure this out and uh, the next person that comes along and works on these and is totally baffled by the adjustment system it's actually very simple and you can make it very precise you've just got to do a little bit of math and have the chart that I showed before and you can work it out very simply alright so I'll pretty much leave that here um, <clears throat> I think I've explained it um, so just to recap they're trimmed just by moving these tabs around and to make the movement run slower you increase the value by swapping the tabs over to um, a section which uh, sorry to increase well to speed the, the watch up so that it uh, gains time rather than loses you change these around so it's got a lower capacitance value and if you want to slow it down you change them around so it's got a higher capacitance value and it's very very simple looks complex but it's really simple and because of the way that it works, you can get a much finer adjustment value than you can, for example, with a trimmer, uh, like a trimmer pot or, uh, or anything like that. And the other advantage is, is that um, you don't have sort of one capacitor that dies, which is uh, quite often what happens on these early quartz movements. 
So anyway, I'll leave that there, and uh, if anyone's working on this and is really miffed, uh, working on one of these and is really miffed, just uh, leave something in the comments and I'll get to it one day, or email me, and uh, I can give you some further tips on it. Alright, so we'll leave that there, and uh, once again, this is one of the um, GFA or Quartz Superior uh, 3883 movements, which were designed to be extremely uh, high accuracy. And uh, yeah, all the magic's in right there. Alright, so I'll leave that there, and thanks for watching, and I'll be back again soon.